what's good, Bumbies? This is Saber Wink, so the freshest Sapphire Night. Coming at you live with the super illest review of Food Gallery 32. What? You don't know what that is? Sucks for you. Well, you're going to find out. Ain't that right, Bumby? Yeah. Cool. All right. See you then. All right, listen, hacky sack, pretty gay. Having a ball sack in your mouth, that's kind of gay, less gay. But sack sack in your mouth, ah yeah, man, that's what real men want. As you can see, I'm pretty pleased by my dinner tonight. With a nice little bit of soju to get you fucked up. Just a little bit so that the starches as well as the carbs from the ramen leave you all quite nice, all right? Right now, we just gotta wait for the last meal and we're okay. I mean, I bet it's probably already seasoned enough, but I like things that are a little bit sour. Put some vinegar. All over that shit, cause I'm O, was it O positive, O negative? I forget what I am. O positive, I think. Some salt from my childhood trauma, right on top. And then I don't even know what this is, but we'll find out later. Thing for my lovely ladies' food to come out. I just have to say, this. It's not what it used to be. It used to be way better than the quality that it is now. Although as gorgeous as it may be, and it's better than most type of uh, Japanese or Korean type of cooking, it used to be of a better quality before the renovation of Food Gallery 32. Now, we'll see the other application of this kind of style of cooking from the other vendor. Now, they went through another remodelation, or rather a renovation, of their whole storefront, and it's been a while since we've been here. So we'll see how it comes out. The beef udon. In here, okay, sure. And for sure, last year they had to remodel the, what's it called, mad noodles? Now it's called nuna noodles. For the chasu pork ramen, which is basically pork belly that's uh, grilled, they only give me two pieces of chasu now. Before, they used to give you four pieces of chasu, and I would be able to have the extra side of chasu, but now it costs $6 as opposed to the three that it used to be, plus tax, obviously. This is ridiculous. It doesn't matter, though, I guess. I guess, so long as it tastes okay. But then again, 
the lovely lady's gonna have the beef udon noodles from the recently renovated katsu and omurice shop. So let's see how it tastes. Their miso soup was always great, but then again, things change. Things always change. Fucking Gaijin over here. I feel like it used to taste better. Granted. Maybe like the, the management has changed. There's the same employees, but the recipe depth for sure has changed. The portion is the same, but the amount of amenities that you get, there's, there's no more sweet radish. There's no more exercise of kimchi. You have to ask for the vinegar and the salt. And they charged me three extra dollars for bean sprouts and cilantro. For, um, I'm thinking uh, seven, 7.5. And that's with my edits. By itself, six point five seven. Better than most though. Better than most, seven. I'll say seven. I'll say seven. I think that's fair. After the renovation of this particular type of storefront, it has a new name as well as a different presentation. This will be the first time for me, myself, and I and my partner having the beef udon as well as the California roll. I'm not the biggest fan of sushi or anything like that, but call it basic, I guess. You know, me and fish don't get too along, if you know what I mean. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not the biggest fan of sushi. So, it's not my first time having California rolls. This is my first time having roll and katsu's California roll. So spicy mayo. Let's see how it is. Hope I don't fuck it up. One thumbs up. These, these California rolls also come with a salad as well as a garnish of ginger to cleanse your palate between the California rolls, the soup, as well as the miso. It's prepared with sriracha sauce as well as the chipotle mayonnaise. It, it tastes really well by itself. A little very light. It's a California roll, it's not the craziest thing ever. But it's a great um, let's say, uh, companion to all these dishes. Pretty good. As far as like from Hoboken or anything from these um, other sushi restaurants, I'd say it's pretty good. All right, after she's had her own taste of the beef udon, let's find out how good this is. I will say I'm pleasantly surprised. It has a very strong, very beefy, savory flavor to it. It's very well seasoned. Although I'm not the biggest fan of udon noodles for the sole fact that they, they have a trouble absorbing that taste of the broth. And even though the, the broth may be bland, it affects the udon noodle. This particular one, it tastes exceptional. It's a really good one. 
I'd give that at the very least 8.5 to a 9. That was actually very, very good. Almost jealous of my choice. For dessert, guys, some nice, delicious uh, plain vanilla ice cream with a cinnamon sugar churro and a chocolate ice cream with a cinnamon churro. Awesome. All right. Nice and fresh. Ooh, still pretty hot. The soft serve is um, very creamy, very light. Almost reminiscent of a um, low fat uh, yogurt. Very pleasant. Heading out after Food Gallery 32. Pretty nice meal. Better than most for a Friday night, you know. In New York City, you can spend a whole lot more money and get a whole lot less. Unfortunately, due to the remodeling that happened about last year, my favorite spot within the Food Gallery 32 is not what I would like it to be. Though with the same remodeling though that happened recently, the old spot or rather the placeholder before, was it New York Roll and Katsu? They were pretty good. Now, after the fact, even better. And there was a long line to show it. That means a lot. It really does. When the consumer actually will go out of their way to wait in line in a busy metropolitan area, in a busy marketplace, you gotta know, man. If it's worth the wait, it's worth to be eight. <laughs> gotta know. What's up, Bumpies? All right, this is the morning after the fact. We're gonna go get some brunch. It's gonna live your best life. And that always includes living like Becky because Becky's a white girl. And everybody knows that Becky picks the best things like organic coconut oil and Jojuba oil <laughs> and other shit like that. Fucking casual racism aside, we're gonna go to this place has been super hyped in my area right in the tippy top of my locale there's this particular brunch spot that has been known to be gotta gotta mind that that has been known to be pretty good all right so nice squish free uh, good shit it's gonna be good shit fucking i'm gonna have to cut that shit out <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be great. What's it called? The Cliffs? Something like the thing is called the Cliffs, all right? And hopefully it's good enough to not jump off of it, right? What's up, Bumbies? Time for round two or three. If you include the candy one, I guess. All right, we're here at the club. A place in the Heights. It's supposed to be really good for brunch. Or all the Beckys go to. All right, so we're gonna see, we'll try it out. Try what? Two different entrees. Drinks, the fresh squeezed juice, right? Something like that. Maybe a side and call it a life. We'll find out. I'll show you the menu. All right, we've gotta wait until the server notices over here. I guess after we. I was gonna say. Meh, meh. Gotta distract yourself the right way. Got to find that server. Be like, where's my brunchy tins? I want the brunchy tins. Meh, meh, meh. Fresh squeeze orange juice. Meh. <laughs> Yo, this stuff used to crack me up as a kid. <laughs> what a cute menu. It's adorable. Meh. Summer weather. Some good stuff here. Hmm. Let's see what's going on this side. Hey, so cute. Uh, I'll look this over for a little bit. I'll see what I want. Buzz, um, this was the watermelon mint, right? It's actually very, very nice. Exquisite. I have to start writing down the points. Um, this was the berry lemonade. A really great, nice, flavorful tartness. 
Yum, 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 yum. What did you get? You got the huevos rancheros, right? This is the guacamole, the beans, the tortilla chips, you know, the eggs, of course, right? And I have the Faroe Island salmon. Cooked in my specific way. Bless you, sweetie. <laughs> so, we also have a side of gorgonzola fries. We assumed they would be truffle fries, which is gorgonzola bits, but apparently it's, um, what, like almost like a cheesy fondue sauce? Uh, come on. Cheese, come on. Come on, it's cheese. Like, you can't go wrong. So we're gonna have to wait. Mm. We figured out that the bottom of this this platter is actually <laughs> more cheese sauce. The more of the gorgonzola roux. And it's very tasty. It's totally stealing that recipe. <laughs> totally stealing it. Um, it's the morning after. Uh, I didn't give my final thoughts because I was full and I wanted to go to sleep, right? Blame me, whatever. Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you for your video and have fun. Subscribe, do your thing. Bell, you're not going to hit the bell. I actually watch a lot of YouTubers that never hit the bell. Fuck the bell. Fuck that shit. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you next time for some other crazy fucking shit about my life, right? See ya.